Hello, beautiful, blessed, beloved ones. It's me, Giovanna, also known as the Spiritual Love Healer. Uh, you might have been like, where have you been? What are you doing? Things have disappeared. What is going on? So over the past, I'll say few years, I've felt the need to really transition my work, um, to make a shift, not only in my work, but my life and just all the things. And um, I took a good hiatus from social media and that was very beautiful. What it all led me to, um, I was going through a lot. I was in school, really focusing on myself. So it led me through to a deeper sense of healing, a deeper sense of self, and a deeper understanding of what it is that I truly desire uh, to do. Yes, I have gone somewhere, but also no, I have not. Um, what I decided to do was to um, bring to completion the different brands and things that I was working on and just bring them under one roof, which was me. I've been going back through um, old content, especially my YouTube channel, the Spiritual of Healer YouTube channel, and decided that I want to just kind of archive everything. Save a few of my you know, more popular videos that I think have been really helpful to people. That being said, I will begin to, well, I have began, begun posting content on YouTube and Instagram, um, Facebook. You can also follow me there at my name, Giovanna Tisdale. My website is Giovanna Tisdale. I am starting from scratch. Some content, yes, I am going to um, bring over. And all of that will, all the links will be for you below if you wanna continue staying in touch with me to know what I'm working on um and what to expect from me so i mentioned that i was in school i became a licensed massage therapist doing work that i really love body work massage is all healing work um, so for me it's just another healing modality i am still uh, a healer i'm still a coach i still talk about spirituality relationships parenting all the things it's just i'm doing it in a way that feels more in alignment with myself and it's less about being or having a brand and more so just about me being myself and sharing my beliefs, my work, my journey, my story with you. So if that resonates, then come on over, come on over to, um, to continue to connect with me. And yeah, not much is changing. It's just how I'm showing up, where I'm showing up, mainly that is the change. Um, my work will have more of a focus on melanated people as well as marginalized communities because that is where I'm really being called to serve. However, that does not mean that anyone is necessarily excluded. I can only talk about things from my communal, societal, ancestral, generational experience. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. Though I tend like everybody, I, I don't know, if you feel drawn to me, then there's a reason that you're here. We all have some sort of ancestral or karmic or generational stuff that we are dealing with, whether we are aware of it or not. So if that resonates with you, then come on over. So I'll be focusing on helping you free your mind, liberate your soul, and heal your body through the various modalities, the wisdoms, the magic, and all of that that I know of. I will say that coming to this decision was hard, but it was also extremely freeing for myself. I was starting to work on this brand and I'm really good at business and creating things. I really enjoy it and I love it, but something never felt right at its core. Like, yes, it was easy, um, but there was always this resistance and I wasn't understanding why is there this resistance? And I'm thinking, oh, it's, you know, it's doubt or it's self-sabotage. And it's like, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. And a lot of times, yeah, like, for me, I, you know, I felt like I was distracting myself quite often, but during that journey, like I learned a lot. I was able to obtain, you know, the various certifications that I wanted. I was able to, you know, practice and it helped me filter out what it is that I did not want to do, what it is that I do desire to do and how I wanted to show up. So it was all very helpful and I don't take it for granted. I'm grateful. I find that it was definitely a blessing. It was like taking the long way home. So now <laughs> I've collected all the tools and resources and the training and the knowledge and the wisdom. And now I'm like, okay, I wanna put it into practice, but this is how I am going to do it. And it feels really good. So I am excited to continue this journey with you. Uh, my website is live, although there are some 
minor tweaks that I would like to do to it. However, it's live, it's fully functional. There are some resources there available for you as well as there is, I'm gonna have some workshops um, and courses that you're able to go ahead and sign up for. So there is a lot there. Uh, I have a lot of courses and eBooks that I have worked on over the years that I had not really released. So I'll be doing that in addition to events, virtual and local events. And I am also preparing to open my calendar back up to start taking clients again for coaching, for readings, uh, for remote healing sessions and some other things. So yeah, there's a lot happening. I'm very grateful and excited and truly, truly, truly look forward to continuing our connection. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Again, all of my details will be in the comment for you below. I'm sending you an abundance of love, of peace, of healing, of bliss, and all that you desire and deserve. And I hope to see you again soon. Peace.